Well, 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 what do we have here? Episode 183 of the Saga Log. I can't believe it. It's not allowed. It's not, it's not okay. Um, you know, I'm just gonna get strangled to death by Elisa. But honestly, what's the problem that? <laughs> what an intro! Okay, well, <laughs> coming into this episode. Welcome to this episode. It's 8.30, y'all. It's getting late. And I am tired, but also getting ready to see a friend today. Um, who's coming in in an hour? So I have an hour to get episodes done, edited, and all that stuff. The beauty is the way that I'm editing this series. As long as something doesn't die, I can actually just publish it. That's definitely trade secrets right there. Um, what a lucrative deal. Honestly, I'm... The only reason I'm saying it that way is that I hope nothing dies because I have to render episode 181 anyways. So I really, really, really need stuff to not die so I can just boop, 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 boop. Like, because <coughs> with school coming up and everything and also trying to create, like, higher resolution and higher quality content, things take longer. And not only that, what I've found is if I render the video, it's less quality than if I don't run it. It's dumb, okay? Like, I don't get it. I also, like, need to upgrade my webcam. Because this thing has been with me for freaking three years now. Something like that. Three years or four years. It's been a long time and it's needed, so... It's fine. Like... I'm trying to figure out lighting and all that stuff, like, so that way, like, I mean, I think it's getting better, but, like, I need backlighting, right? Like, because this is a no-go. Now, I will say, I do have a light that I really could just be using right now, but, I, ironically enough, I should just be using that, but it's set up. Like, I wanted to get on and go. I was impatient, okay? That's all it was. Um, I'll be honest, it was impatience. Patience is a virtue, everyone, and usually I have it, but I wanted to go, go, go with these episodes today. Do, do, do. And this just says Elisa's gone, right? Yeah, because they make you go... I, I, if I'm going to be 100% honest, I do not like the way that they formatted this gym. Because they're like, oh, by the way, go to the old gym. And then the, then the girl like at the old gym is like, oh, by the way, she's not even here right now. You got to go to the new gym. She's on the runway. And it's just like, I literally just look at this dude right here, right? Because if she's on the runway, that means she has to be present in this freaking building. Because there's no way you run from some random place to the freaking runway. Which means this dude is literally lying boldly to our face. And just... Everybody in the world's okay with this. Like, no, this man cannot be lying boldly to a child's face. I mean, they, people do it, so I guess you can. But it's not right, okay? Like, especially if it's literally the kid's business and he knows it's the... Because he literally, he presently says straight up to you. He's like, oh, you're a challenger? Well, Elise is not here right now. And it's just like... Bruh. Again, you can tell and omit information information to kids if it's not part of their prerogative or part of the program. That is fine. It's when you lie and it's part of their prerogative that's the problem. Like, and it's part of what they need to do. Like, <laughs> it's like, oh, you need to succeed by doing good in school. Okay, child is good in school. Omits the fact that literally if you don't if you don't turn things in or don't do things for two years um, Then your credits don't count and it doesn't matter. It's just like So I did what you told me to do to succeed, but you admit a crucial piece of information which means I failed at Doing what I needed to do because of your omission Like, you want your child's to, your kids to succeed, right? You want, like, you want your, yeah, anyways. Back to the main point of this. Um, I have Lopini in the front while we're fighting Polyrath. Yes, um, no, but honestly, that's an easy fix. Uh, get out here. Oh, wait. I almost sent out Curious when I met Send Out Siren. That would have been so bad, because this thing is about to close combat me in the face.
that is actually still pretty bad. That would have been probably worse for Curious. Curious would have absolutely been demolished. So thank goodness I actually paid attention to what I was doing. Jump kick. Why did that... Did he use sacred sword or secret sword? I wasn't paying attention, clearly. <laughs> Again, pay attention. <laughs> that will help. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, it's kind of hilarious when you're like, when that happens, like, again, if you want your kids to succeed, tell them what they need to do to succeed, because if they want to do it, they are going to put their head, or, uh, put their head down and do it. But if you don't tell them how to succeed, um, even if it's, like, abrupt and, like, hey, this is what I recommend, not even that, like, not I would recommend you do this. Because saying I would recommend you do this, I feel like it would be taken as, okay, I understand that you recommend it, but I don't need it. So you, you put it as an optional without telling anybody the reasoning. Because kids need log logic, kids need reasoning in order to do something, right? Because, I don't know, it, it, that's just a me thing. I... If, if I'm told I recommend you doing this, typically, I'm like, okay. And, like, I'll understand your recommendation and all, but that doesn't mean I'm going to follow through or do anything. Because, again, it's just recommended. Like, it's recommended to drink a bunch of water. You don't need to. You should. But if you miss it, it's not like you're going to die. Um, or if you drink too much water, it's a problem anyway. So it's like you have a fine line. You have issues and blah, blah, blah. Um, or, like, it's recommended to sleep eight hours a day. Do I sleep eight hours a day? Oh, hell no. It, that doesn't happen. Like, I probably sleep more than that, to be honest. Like, I, anywhere between... I, I usually fall between nine and usually anywhere between six and nine hours, which is a lot of sleep. But do a lot of people not get that sleep? Yeah, a lot of people don't get that much sleep and it's fine. Like recommendation, that's what rec that's what a recommendation is. It's, hey, you should do this, but it'll be fine if you don't. And it won't like you don't have terrible life altering consequences. It's like, unless you do it constantly. But, like, I guess I'm I'm really kind of you, doing a straw man thing. Because I'm like, here's these things that are, pro, like, uh, that happen after prolonged issues. Whereas one thing is, like, it's a short issue. Like, and if there's a time limit on something, tell, like, especially when there's a time limit on something, like, just do it. Like... Tell them, hey, if you don't take a class like that in two years, then you will not be able to succeed. Oh, you know what? I don't think I... Oh my god, wait, I can actually take care of everything and just skip that. Didn't know that. I learned something new today. This is the rock... This is the runway. And remember when I said Elisa was not here? She's like right in the back of this runway, y'all. Yes. It's literally Tess Holiday. No, I'm joking. Why did I? S I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And it just, that, when I think runway, that's a dumb first person to come to mind. But that is like the first person that comes to mind when it comes to runway. Because that's like the only runway model that I know. Okay. Like. I don't watch that stuff, okay? Like, that's just not in my... any. That's not in my vocabulary. That's not anything I watch or do. <laughs> Why was that the first thing that came to my head? I don't know, okay? I'm... It's the Shady Penguin curse, okay? It's not first week of the month. It's just me looking at Shady Penguin. It just causes my brain to just have an aneurysm. Because it's just an overload of loveliness. Um, and of course, naturally, I choose the one like him on the day that I'm after recording a lot. 
so I get to stare at him all day like a creep. Um, okay. Anyways, moving forward, I don't even know who to send out because this is, I don't have anything that, like, is good against this. Like, I got curious. I think, I think curious is odd. Oh, but curious is not my best bet because curious, curious, I should have curious as the lead, actually. Oh my gosh. Because curious is not a switch in Pokemon. Why did my brain just now think, hey, John, you know that Curious cannot switch into things. How about making him be the lead? Nope. My brain didn't say anything about that. But instead... <sighs> I hate my brain sometimes. It just doesn't think. Like, it thinks too much, so it doesn't think. That's a weird... Meloetta. Oh, actually, that... Oh, wait. It could be the... It could be the psychic or the fighting form of Meloetta. <coughs> That's bad on both ends, because if it's normal fighting Meloetta, then we send in Miss Piggy. But if it's normal psychic Meloetta, I mean, technically, Miss Piggy handles both, but can't attack one. Curious can't deal with one, but Miss Piggy, yeah, I'm going Curious. I think it's going to be the not pure way form. That's my guess. Watch it be the pure waveform, and I'm just be like, naturally, brain overthinking does not think. Yay! I got the right one. Okay, this that's fine. Naturally, freaking status condition. Curious because he's that threatening, apparently. I mean, he is threatening. To a Meloetta, that is pretty threatening, actually. Camouflage. Doesn't that just make you like? what I thought. It just makes you whatever the last movie used was. <clears throat> I was I was actually for a second I for a second got super excited I was like, yes, we actually can actually deal with this because oh my gosh, we have marble scale and it's like, no, you have flower gift now, John. Ugh. I'm like, but flower gift is so bad in comparison to marble scale and it's like, yep, deal with it. I don't even know this this music is like weird, okay? Like Do I actually leave curious though? No, Miss Piggy's a safe lead. I like going safe lead. Safe lead is good. I've never heard that. You cannot you could I have never heard that ever. The are you ready? Like what? Excuse me? In what world am I living in to have not heard that ever? Miss Piggy. Oh, so Miss Piggy can't deal with this. Miss Piggy, you are not being helpful. You are just here to deal with things. Well, but again, it's another steel type that I can't deal with whatsoever, except for going into Siren and hopefully Siren does this. <laughs> like this team, y'all. Like, we have improvements, and we've had and done some good things. But this team is so bad. Five damage. No, that's nine. Okay. Like, we have... I get that we have, like, the Soak and Giga Drain combination, which I'm going to have to actually use. But this team is actually ridiculous. Oh, Power Snow. Look at that. One damage. Like, I, I don't think I've seen a Nuzlocker run with this gross of a team, okay? Because a lot of, but this is why I love the static team rule. Because this, it becomes the result. You can get stuck with this garbage and you can't do anything about it. You have to play with what the cards you worked out. And then once things start dying is when you can start formulating and figuring out a team, how you're gonna do that. But you cannot purposefully lose them on. Because if I could purposely lose a bond, Sun Kern would have died instead of Rudy. But who knows? Sun Kern might actually make it into like Oogle Blip might actually fully evolve. Oogle Blip might actually make it to the Elite Four. Oogle Blip might get sent to Generation Six. Like it's possible, albeit slim because it's an Oogle Blip. But because that's the beauty of being a weak Pokemon, right? Like, if you're a weak Pokemon, 
and a Nuzlocke. You're like, yes, 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 because I won't be utilized except for sacrifices. And in a in a, a Nuzlocke that you cannot like super self sacrifice, or at least you try your hardest not to. That's great. Also, I am gonna keep. I'm gonna keep Miss Piggy in and Luster Purge because I think that Miss Piggy can deal with this. That's gonna hurt though. I literally told Charizard this is a crit meme. <laughs> okay. I, one, I told Charizard, hey, this is a crit me, not a Pokemon, and it's fine as long as it doesn't get crit. And then it gets crit and dies to a blast burst from a camera up to the Pokemon. I literally am like, I can keep this thing in it, and it'll be fine. On the episode, I'm like, please don't have anything die, so that way I can actually not have to worry about editing. Really, camera up? We really out here playing this game, aren't we? I see your true intentions and I don't like it. <clears throat> Siren, get back out here because you, dude, our backups are bad. Our back, it's the, it's literally the equivalent of going from freaking, uh, it's like going from Patrick Mahomes. To like David Mills. Or actually, even better analogy. It's like going from freaking Patrick Mahomes to Nathan Peterman, okay? That is our bench right now. And that is what we're stuck with. Because you blast, burn, crit. That I... Oh, siren. I should have switched. I should have... I, I can't even... Oh, this is such a... That's so bad. Siren can't level up. Oh, oh no. Siren, just don't level up off of this, buddy. I just can't have you level up or else you break and I can't use you. I can't believe I'm risking it. Don't level up, don't level up, don't level up. I don't think I can use it in the next fight. I think there's one more after this too. Oh, there's not. Oh my gosh, we got lucky. Oh my gosh. Oh, our team is such a freaking terrible. That's like the one Pokemon I didn't want to die again. Oh, no. Uh, this is... Dude, and I go straight to Clay after this. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no! This is the one mod I told Charizard my team can't fight, and I finally got a thing for it, and then it died right before I had to fight it! Oh, no! What do I do now? Oh, my team is gonna be a mess. Oh, no! I literally just got something to fight you and you freaking come out now of all the times in the world. Oh no. My entire team is weak to this, except for Oogleblip. Every single one of my mons are weak to this, but Oogleblip. What the frick do I even do? Oh no. And I have I've got to risk the fly. Oh, I'm faster somehow! I don't know how I'm faster, but I'm gonna deal with that! Oh, you used a negative priority move! Oh my god! You used a negative priority move! Oh, please die! 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 You used a negative priority move! Oh my gosh!
If it didn't use a negative priority move, we were dead. Elisa threw for us. She threw for us. Oh. I don't feel like I should win. I legit don't feel like I should have won that. Like. I thought we were going back to generation four. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I can't even, this is, I can't progress because I have to mentally gather the fact that we were actually still somehow freaking going after the absolute one Pokemon that destroys my entire team decided to flub instantaneously. I should have lost that. There is, there is no words. I should have lost right then and there and it should have been game over. Let's stand. How? How? I... I just can't right now. The one Pokemon that destroys my entire team decided to do... Decided to throw. Because you know... That this thing... Has... You know that this thing has something that's super scary and bad for my team to face. Like, there is no way that it is, its only fighting move is Vital Throw. Absolutely no shot in the world that Vital Throw is the only thing that this thing has to murder me with. How in the absolute world? Also, why are we wanting to learn Black Drum right now? And why do I actually want to consider it? No. Well, no. Oh, I need to text Charizard after this episode! Oh. I can't believe- I- I can't. I'm in utter shock right now. Like, that should not have happened. Grovile. That's fine. Grovile. You're fine. Oh. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Like, I, I can just do my own thing now. Like, I it doesn't matter what happens, because I win from this point. She threw, and this is why she's a babe, okay? Elisa is just a babe, okay? This is, we knew this from the get-go, but now we know that even more. Holy crap, all about, man. I should not have won. But we get to see what's on the team now, because, wow. That was a massive throw. You have a TM for- <laughs> means you actively chose Vital Throw instead of Jump Kick. Oh my gosh. What is this? Can anybody learn Jump Kick? Miss Piggy, which is the one that's dead, is the only one can learn it. Okay. Wow. I can't. I actually, like, I feel like I should stop recording today, but I have one more to go. Oh, uh, well, our trials in Nibasa are over, and we get to go ahead to Clay in the Pokemon World Tournament in the next episode, but oh my gosh. Well, Miss Piggy's dead. Miss Piggy does not have an item. Time to add troll. I didn't get to see what troll's ability was, so maybe. Uh, plus, and liquid ooze. Ooh. And it's a lonely nature with cross poison, venishock, sludge bomb, and toxic. I do like that plus attack minus defense nature. And it gives my team the kind of. The poison type to handle Barizion with. Yeah, that makes sense. 
I need another thing to handle Virzion, and this handles both of its weaknesses. Holy shoop, Nuggets. I should not be alive right now, but we are. And in the next episode, we will be getting to Clay. I don't think we have to take on Clay at the moment. Um, and we will see you guys in the next one, when hopefully I'm not at the edge of my seat dying. Um, <laughs> see you guys then.